Welcome. In this module, you'll understand the traditional wide area network or WAN architecture. You'll understand the changing landscape of the WAN. And you'll also get to know some newer WAN requirements. So let's jump right into it. Enterprises use a wide area network to connect their users and their applications, right? So applications were traditionally in an on-premise data center. And users were at branch offices, headquarters, or sometimes at home offices. So this is where the users were. Um, to connect the remote offices to the data center, a private WAN link was used. So this was traditionally the case. These private links were procured from a service provider and we all know about MPLS, a very popular private WAN link. These links were reliable. So the service provider guaranteed a certain availability. They were secure because it was the service provider's private network. And the service provider also ensured a certain quality of service on these links. Um, this meant that business critical and latency sensitive applications were prioritized. However, this solution was expensive and difficult to provision. So often it used to take months to actually procure and deploy these uh, band links. Some organizations, they used an internet link, but only for backup or failover purposes. Why was that the case? So they were unreliable. So the service provider could not guarantee any uh, availability. Uh, they were insecure. So you needed to use an additional solution uh, like a firewall uh, to make these connections secure. And also these links, they were susceptible to a lot of issues like uh, packet loss, jitter and latency, which degraded the end user experience. So that's the story about the uh, remote offices. So now what about home offices? At home offices, employees used a VPN solution to connect back to their applications in the data center. So this is the traditional WAN, right? So you can see that multiple solutions were required uh, to actually build and maintain the wide area network. So this made management difficult, right? There were so many moving components here. And also because it's a multi-solution environment, there was no end-to-end -end visibility. So there was a lack of visibility. So to add to all these problems, right? Applications are now being moved to the cloud. So they're moving, being moved to uh, your IaaS providers like AWS and Azure or SaaS providers like Office 365. To connect to these cloud applications, Enterprises traditionally they used what's called a backhaul architecture. So this is where the traffic, user traffic was first sent to the data center to be inspected by their firewall for security purposes, right? And then it was sent to the cloud. So this obviously induced latency, right? Because of these multi hops and uh, this in turn uh, degraded the end user experience. So these are all the issues with the existing WAN architecture, right? So obviously now you need a solution that solves all these problems. So the solution, it should be a single solution, which is inexpensive. The solution should have a single pane of glass to move, to manage all these different remote locations. You need a single uh, management plane uh, so that, you know, it has automated configuration of all these uh, complex network and security policies, right? So you want easy management. And because it's a single solution, it should be able to provide full vis visibility of your wide area network. The next requirement is these, uh, the solution should be easy to deploy, right? Uh, to add a new site, it should not take a long time. Uh, it should be done in a matter of minutes. The other important requirement is to make active use of the unreliable but inexpensive internet links. You pay for it, so you want to use it, right? So internet links should be used. And obviously, because of all the different issues on the internet, uh, the solution should be able to provide a quality of service on these internet links as well. Then finally, 
you don't need your pack all architecture you need a solution that can provide direct secure connectivity from the users to the applications wherever they are so these are all the different requirements so here are some key takeaways your traditional van architectures they were expensive they were difficult to manage and they also did not provide consistent remote user experience depending on where the users were depending on where um the applications were the experience was different um and obviously now the applications and users they are all distributed geographically right the applications are no more just in your physical on premise environment now they are also in the cloud so to solve all these problems you need a single solution uh, which makes your van management absolutely easy but at the same time it should also provide automated secure and reliable connectivity no matter where the users and applications are so that's that's about it uh, uh relevant documentation is attached to the module do check it out thank you